I just took care of business all day, and you know what that means. Work time is over. Fish time has begun. Do you feel like you're always working and never fishing? I'm here to show you that even on a tight schedule, you can still catch fish. Welcome to Work Hard, Fish Hard. Season 2, Chatterbaits and Swim Jigs. Okay, so I've never fished at this pond before. It's right in the middle of town, so it probably gets a lot of pressure. But what I would like to do is actually throw a Chatterbait Elite right there on the top versus a Jackhammer Chatterbait. Pretty expensive, but I wanted to see what the difference really is. I want to get a little bit of a feel for the difference underwater, and hopefully we'll catch a few fish along the way. But really, I just want to figure out what the difference is, see if it's worth it to buy uh, Jackhammers. I've got a couple of them now, but I'm going to start with all white because it is the fall. They should hopefully be feeding. Let's get started. Hello? Go figure, that was a call from work. But we're gonna start out with this here jackhammer. It's a beautiful bait. We'll see if it performs as well as it looks. This pond looks really shallow towards the bank, but once you get out towards the middle, there's a clear drop off. My guess is this place gets a lot of pressure. Well, my immediate impression of this jackhammer is that it wobbles really good. So here's another jackhammer, and on the back, it basically says that it starts running quickly it creates a natural hunting motion. It avoids snags and deflects cover. Blade striking and the head produces sound. High hookup ratio, holds soft plastic trailers securely, easy to skip under docks. We can compare it real quick to a normal chatterbait, and then we're gonna compare it to a chatterbait elite. Here's the normal chatterbait. So as you can see, it's got a little bit different line tie as far as how it's connected to the head. The head design is a little bit different. It does not have a keeper for the soft plastic. Oh wow, my hook is bent on this puppy. Huh, I wonder what I hooked. Also, the skirt is a very different skirt. That one definitely looks to be a little bit higher quality. And here's the Chatterbait Elite. This one has a very different line tie. It's not a snap swivel. It's just a basically a little wire harness. It's got a similar attachment slash head design as the original Chatterbait. The skirt's wire tied, so that's pretty nice. Definitely keeps it on there a lot better than just a classic rubber skirt. And this one also has a keeper for soft plastic. So the Chatterbait Elite really has always been my favorite. But now that I have some jackhammers, I guess we're going to put it to the test and see if that's really the best. Now that you saw the other two, you can clearly see there's some differences here you know a premium head design it's got a little bit different line tie it's got a, a much smaller snap swivel it's got a really really nice keeper for soft plastics and then it's got really really nice skirts so i think it's just really upgraded across the board i do really like the way this thing looks i have a feeling it's going to perform very well uh, i just need to get it out there and just try it a little bit more definitely some bluegill up shallow in here might need to switch to a bluegill color Chatterbait Elite is what I use 95% of the time whenever I'm throwing a chatterbait. Oh wow, the other bait has so much more drag to it. So it clearly has a different action. That thing wobbles like crazy. This has a much tighter wiggle. Not gonna lie to you, I feel like I'm getting more depth out of this chatterbait Elite than I am the chatterbait Jackhammer. That thing has so much more kick to it. These two baits are much different than I expected. I'm gonna set it right now. My goal today, one bass. I'm gonna walk all the way over to the other side again, and if I don't catch a fish by that dock over there, I'll probably bounce to the other park and hopefully we can catch a fish there. If not, it is what it is. Oh, I just saw my first bass. So there's a baby bass right there. He's about four inches long. I mean, there's baby bass in here, so there's gotta be a mama bass somewhere. I'm gonna tie on my Chatterbait Elite bluegill color. Okay, out with the old, in with the new. We've got this here bluegill colored bait. I've used this Chatterbait a ton. This one is my trusty, never fail Chatterbait right here. There's a fish. Yeah, baby. Bluegill color. Yes, well, we at least accomplished our goal. Not a bad little chunk. I mean, he's not big by any means, but that's the perfect hook set right in the noggin. Okay, you know what? It's been a grind out here, but we got the job done. Let's turn this puppy loose. Just making that minor little adjustment from white to bluegill is all it took. I knew I probably should have done it earlier, but I was just holding on to the fact that I thought they might react to the white. Glad I switched to the bluegill though, because we got the job done. All I really wanted to do today is catch at least one fish. I'm not necessarily surprised that the Chatterbait Elite caught the first fish. One, because it dives a little bit deeper, and two, because I tied on the bluegill pattern, so it probably had a little bit of an advantage. Choctaw Bingo, right on. Like 
as you can see by those clouds back behind me, it's about ready to storm. And you know what? Today we didn't exactly blast them with the chatterbaits, but I had a lot of fun. And you know what? If you want to see more chatterbait and swim jig fishing, make sure to stay tuned for this season of work hard, fish hard. Here's the deal. I'm definitely going to keep throwing this here jackhammer. I'm also going to keep throwing the chatterbait elite. And as I find out more about them, I am going to explain those in future videos to come. Either way, you know what I'm going to say next. Work hard, fish hard. Let's go.